morning class. Okay, so before we start our lesson for today, is there anyone who can be the prayer? Yes, ma'am. So the, the third statement is, I know how much I can spend 
one floppy which you might harbor a year. You know how much you spend on fluffing each year or per month? No. How much you spend on fluffing each year or per month? No. Okay. I think we have one good thing today. So what do you observe in our activity? Class. Mr. Pino, what do you observe in our activity? I have observed, Ma'am, that, uh, that it's very important to list down your spending and learning, Ma'am. Very good, Mr. Pino. What else? So, yes, Mr. Baraka. So, for me, uh, it's, it is important to know how much you spend every day. Very good. Any other ideas? Uh, for me, Ma'am, uh, I have observed that every money you spend should be recorded. Very good, Mr. Pino. All your answers are correct and later we will know why it is needed to know this. Who can read our objectives? Ma'am. Okay, Mr. Baraka. So, our objectives uh, at the end of this lesson, the learner should be able to define financial literacy, assess the level of personal financial literacy using a set of standards and questions. And next is characterize financial literacy in the Philippines and start steps to develop personal financial literacy. Okay, thank you, Mr. Baraka. Let us proceed now to our activity. So I have here the picture, so I will show it to you. This is the picture one. How can you describe this person? She by a lot Yes, very good, Mr. Kinyo. She is extravagant and spends more money. She can afford or use uh, she can afford or uses more of something than is reasonable. So I have here the second picture. This is a picture too. So how about this picture? What can you say about this? Uh, but you think the man Yes, correct. Any more ideas? Uh, yeah, I say this man. Correct. So how can you describe this picture? Uh, Mr. Kinyo? Spending wisely. Very good. This is what a prudent person does. A person who is careful with his money and who doesn't spend foolishly. What will happen if you spend a lot without saving, Mr. Baraka? So, ma'am, uh, definitely leads us a lot to poverty. Yes, correct. What, um, um, what else? Uh, I will become a vulnerable to other, uh, or either get into a, or continue to the deep cycle. Yeah. It's true. Very good. So how about if we are a frugal person, what will happen to us? Uh, Mr. Baraka? Uh, so we can have enough in our pocket for rainy days, no? Correct! What else, Mr. Kinyo? Uh, we will be able to ride on the financial store, no? Very good. Do you want to have savings? Who said yes? Raise your hand. Why? Why do you want to have savings? Uh, to prepare them in the future month. Yes, very good, Mr. Baraka. That's correct. And it is fit to you because you are still, still single as of the moment, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so do you want to know how to save and why we should have savings? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's proceed. Uh, 
Very good observation, Mr. Kinyo. And what are their differences? So the differences are that first, in the first the pictures, I spend a lot of money. The second pictures is about savings, spending money wisely. Very good. How um, can you tell me their relationship? Uh, their relationship um, is called finances. Very good. Class, do you believe that we need to be financially literate? Yes, much more. All right. We will be discussing about financial literacy. When you hear about financial literacy, what comes to your mind? Is there any? For me, it's all about how to handle our finances. Okay, very good. First, it is important to know what financial literacy means. Listen to our discussion because later we will be happy that this financial literacy is the possession of the set of skills and knowledge that allows an individual to make informed and effective decision with all of their financial resources. For example, financial management, budgeting, um, investing. So the earlier you start, the better off you will be because education is the key to success when it comes to money. Okay? So anyone who can read the slides? Um, I think you read, Mr. Kenyo. The National Endowment for Financial Education defines financial literacy as the ability to read, analyze, manage, and communicate about the personal financial condition and the effect of material will be given. The ability to discern financial choices, discuss money and financial issues without discomfort. The ability to use knowledge and skills to manage much financial resources effectively for lifetime financial security. Okay, thank you, Mr. Kinio. Financial literacy is not just how we spend or earn, but also the ability to use knowledge and skills to manage our financial resources effectively for lifetime security. Meaning, being financially illiterate, illiterate rather, is how we use the knowledge necessary to make important financial decisions about budgets, debt, and investing. Yes, Class, are you learning? Yes, ma'am. Very good. And now, who will read the next slide? Okay, Mr. Baraka, please so, speak. Uh, this thing refers to financial literacy as knowledge of financial products, knowledge of financial concepts, having the mathematical skills or literacy necessary for effective financial decision making, and being engaged in certain activities such as financial planning. Okay, thank you, Mr. Baraka. So bonds are one example of financial products. Examples of bonds include treasuries. So this is, these are the safest bonds, but with a lowest interest. They are usually sold at auction. So treasury bills, treasury notes, savings, um, bonds, ABC bonds, municipal bonds, and corporate bonds. Uh, which can be among the most, the most risky depending on the company. So anyone will give the example of parts. How about the user? Okay, so the, uh, let me give you an additional uh, knowledge about parts. Uh, are you familiar with FRB, the federal Reserve Bond. Yeah. It is a very big issue. Right, Mr. Baraka? Yeah. So that is one example of the bonds. So now, Act 1092 otherwise known as the Economic and Financial Literacy Act mandates that ed to ensure that economic and financial education becomes an integral part of formal learning. Why do you think Republic Act 1092 mandates that end to integrate financial literacy into curriculum? 
I think uh, it is the way. Thank you, sir. I think uh, it is the way to improve financial literacy in our country. Very good. Anyone who wants to answer? Uh, that's my answer, ma'am. No. Okay. Uh, to improve financial literacy. Okay, very well said. So let me ask you this question. How are you doing financially today? Mr. Baraka, how are you doing financially today? I'm still saving this month. Oh, that's good. How about you, Mr. P.U.? How are you doing financially today? I'm almost nothing more. Because for some reason, I don't okay. have to Okay, so... Um, I hope that this uh, topic will give you some insights regarding your financial um, literacy or financial aspects. Yes. Okay, so let's have an activity. We will assess the levels of your financial literacy using this set of standards and questions. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Please get your paper and go ahead and answer yes or no to the questions you read on the screen. So these are the questions. Do you have a financial plan? That's yes, yes ma'am. How about you, Mr. Barak? Yes ma'am. Do you have savings? Mr. Kino? Yes ma'am. How about you, Mr. Barak? Yes, also ma'am. Really, Mr. Pinyu, you have savings? Yes, uh, I'm just kidding. My education plan now. This is a savings plan. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's true. I agree with that. So do you have insurance? How about you, Mr. Pinyu? Yes, ma'am. I have insurance. Like yeah. Uh, right yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think it's, it's a yes. Because yes, you uh, are... Uh, you are working student, right? And you are already skilled. Yes. Okay. So, how about you, Mr. Brianna? Do you have insurance? Yes, I think I have Like, um... Insurance in your girlfriend? No. <laughs> insurance in your girlfriend. Insurance in what? Education in Okay. Okay. So, do you have a uh, passive income? Not yet. How about you, Mr. Kim? Nothing. Okay. So do you use loans properly? This is the question that I want to know. No, ma'am. How about you, Mr. Brown? No, ma'am. Okay. So your answers are? How many yeses you have? You have? I think it's uh, four. four? Yes. Out of five questions. How many yeses? Four. I think four. Uh, you said you know four and Barahak is a four, right? Four sigma. Okay. So, if your answer is five yeses, it means your personal financial literacy is very
example, you want to buy a car, you want to buy a house, or you want to pay, uh, you want to pay your loan, you can write it there and also you can write a time frame. Example, you want to buy a car on um, example on December 15, 2022. So that is a change word. So Mr. Nino, please continue with it. Okay. Uh, it is in the portion of, of income that's spent on current expenditures. In the other words, it is the money set aside for future years and not spent in the degree. Yes, it's true. Saving money is vital. It provides financial security and freedom and secures you in a financial emergency. By saving money, you can avoid debt, risk, relief, stress. However, despite knowing the importance of savings, we often um, lose. lose sight of it and spend more of our money with present. So please continue with the interview. So, insurance is a way to manage your risk uh, because it will cover up your losses, for example, for insurance, for insurance, for insurance, and many others. Very good, Mr. Baraka. So, very well said. Please continue with it. I'm sorry, it's a sum of money that one or more individuals are being borrowed from banks or other financial institutions. Yes, who among you is familiar with those? I think all of us are, uh, all of us are familiar with those, right? Yes, ma'am. Who can give me an example of a loan? We ask Mr. Baraka. Our car loans, house loans. Um, that's what I got now. Student loan, mortgage. Or a loan. Just give it. So who can give me um what else? Uh home equality loans, no. Or salary loan. Okay. Loans. Very good. So class. Having a loan is not bad. It depends on how you use it. For example, you apply for a loan for a business expansion. So that is good because you generate another income. But if you apply for a loan for a luxury products, that is not good. Why? Why is it not good to apply for a loan for luxury couples? It's because you are not generating an income. Very good, Mr. Baraka. And that is called bad. But yes, very good, Mr. Kinyo. Class, are you learning? Yes, ma'am. Very good. So please read the last one. Uh, okay, ma'am. Uh, Passive income in a mini money earned in the manners that does not require to much report. Okay, thank you for reading this video. So an example of passive income is dividend stocks. So if you are a member of a cooperative, you can have this dividend. Are you familiar with this class? Dividend? No. Yes. In cooperative. So another example is time deposit in that. Yeah. So what can you say about financial literacy here in the Philippines? So as I have observed, the financial literacy here is low. What do you think is the reason, Mr. Kinyo? Uh, the reason why I think uh, because most of us uh, tend to spend first before saving or money or saving or oh. or not saving at all. You are relating it to real life situations. So very good. So the government boosts financial literacy to the Filipinos in partnership with the Banco Central the Filipinas and many other financial institutions. What do you think are the reasons why financial literacy is important to us, Philippines? Okay, Mr. So I think people are becoming financially dependent on others, for example. There is a bunch of Filipinos to stay with their parents even if they have their own family and depend on, the, on their finances. Oh, very good example, Mr. Rock. Another idea, Mr. Kinyo? People have no 
idea of savings and insurance. Or let's say, uh, we have an idea about the lack of financial capability. Very good. Anyone who can add? So, Mr. Brown. Yes, ma'am. So, people are writing in bed, like ICX and also financial literacy is important to me. Everything is financially responsible. Wow. All your answers are correct. It seems that you listen carefully about our lesson for today. So, now we have we will have a group activity. Um, class, group yourselves into four and choose your leader. Remember to work cooperatively with your group mates and don't hesitate to share ideas with each other, okay? Yes. Okay. So your leader will be the one to recite your answers. Um, I will give you three minutes to answer the questions. You think I have many questions? I'm just kidding. I, want, I have only one question for you in this activity. So you have three minutes to answer this. So the question is, or the statement rather, give practical strategies or ways to develop personal financial literacy. Financial literacy okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, now, I want to know if you are really learning in this lesson. So, what have you learned for today's lesson that you could apply into your daily life, Mr. Vera? So, I learned uh, the same for my team, Mr. Okay, thank you, Mr. Rafa. How about you, Mr. Kinyu? What have you learned for today's lesson that you could apply into your daily life? Uh, for me, uh, for spending money every day, uh, and then spending money every day, 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 and then spending money every it's true. So we could, uh, we can apply that in our daily life. Yes, ma'am. Right? Yes. So 